So I thought since this is a corkscrew, screw cap kind of thing, and we're talking about opening wine and screw caps, that I should give you a little bit of a 411 on a waiter's corkscrew. Uh, they call this a waiter's corkscrew for a reason. It is a wa waiter's favorite tool, has everything you can possibly need on it, including a little bottle opener at the back, the new ones do anyways, a two-step opener process, um, the standard screw part in the center and then of course it has a handy little uh, blade at the far end. <clears throat> I would say this was more like a hospitality switchblade, if it makes any sense. So uh, when you're opening the wine, um, there are many ways that different restaurants like to do it. Some insist on putting it on the table to spin it and take the foil off. Other ones insist on um, making sure it never touches the tabletop. I say that the more that you're practiced at it, then you can kind of lift it off the table. Um, spinning it on the table or spinning it while you're cutting it also gets caught up in the tablecloths or anything else that's on the table. So you're just gonna take the knife and you're gonna cut off just at the base. There's a little ledge here, do you see that? Of the glass bottle. And then you're gonna use that knife and just gently pull up the foil and it comes off in a little cap. <clears throat> Next thing, you can put the knife away so you don't cut yourself. Then you're going to take the screw part, open the whole thing up so it's like two arms, and placing the tip in the center, you're going to slowly bring it down, but not all the way. As much as you're tempted to put it, the entire thing in, you can see the whole screw. Leaving that that last notch is usually the best spot because if you look closely, you'll see that this um, second part of the lever is just going to sit on the top of the neck of the bottle. So I'm gonna do this with my right hand because that's how I do it. So then when you hold it and use that lever for the first one, and then you do it the second one, don't use the corkscrew to pull it all up. Some of the wines, especially old world ones, uh, they have really long corks and they're even longer than the screw and the actual lever that's pulling it up. So you'll end up breaking it sometimes. So as soon as you get to the point where this is completely off, um, and as far as you can go without having to yank it any further, you can actually almost see some air between the, that lever part and then the neck of the bottle. Just use your hand to wiggle the rest out. <clears throat> so from there you can start pouring. If you really want to get fancy, um, the foil on the top of the bottle uh, is of course made of metal and uh, any serious wine drinker who has a very delicate palate will know that if acid from the wine comes in contact with metal, it will change the flavor of the wine. So if you are serving somebody a, a proper tasting or a very old wine and you really want them to taste it exactly the way it's supposed to be, just to not take any precautions, I always take the rest of the foil off. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a introduction into how to use a waiter's corkscrew and you can practice alone at home uh, so that next time you're entertaining friends you can kind of wow them with your skills.